representation from around the state, and also that the voters have input into who's making up the governing bodies of the universities. If we don't have input from the people, then it appears that the universities function without their support. And I think this takes into account lots of those kinds of issues. It gives the people some input into their universities. It keeps some of the input at a local level because the universities are important parts of the local community, but it still allows the governor some input through appointees that have been vetted for their experience, their ability the, to, to meet other kinds of criteria that the governor might have. As we have now, I think the system uh, encourages people who may not have experience in higher education and therefore they're more likely to not understand the issues and to just go along with what a president might say and that doesn't serve the universities in a, a good manner. Uh, people need to have experience, they need to have an understanding as to how higher education functions and works and I think New Mexico and our research universities in particular have moved to a point where we've got to be more accountable to the people and to the voters around the entire state.